A perfect afternoon for skateboarding and a perfect venue for skateboarding. We welcome you back to day three of X Games Minneapolis. It's the Toyota Men Skateboard Park Final, and it starts right now. What's up, everybody? Brandon Graham alongside the legend Bob Bernquist with Craig McMorris out on the course. Bob, Park is really enjoying a renaissance at the moment with a new era of skaters invading the discipline. Well, what's up, Brandon? What's up, everyone? Yeah, Park is uh, really creative. They're all different. Every time there's an event, you just change everything up, and then you have to get used to what's there. During the practice time, the guys have been going off here. Uh, so many elements to skate. Big crew skating hard. The finals are going to be insane. Yeah, an amazing lineup we have out here today. Headlined by our defending gold medalist, Alex Sorgente. What makes this guy so good, Bob? Well, Alex is very technical, and everywhere he sees a wall, he puts a trick down. You know, so the amount of tricks he has in his runs uh, are usually a few more than the rest of the, the field. And he picks really odd lines and odd places to go, and. That's what's exciting about Alex. He will be pushed, though, namely by Pedro Barros, the king of park here at X Games. He didn't compete last year. You know he wants to get out here and reclaim gold. Yes, he does. He wants to skate, and he's always so into it, man. When he skates, he's going for full speed, you know, finding the lines. He's got that big old uh, rail there in the park, and, and he always wants more, you know, and that's like, you know, whether he's uh, missed one or, or, or is at every one, he's going full throttle at every event. Pedro's exciting. Well, we have our 12 skaters out here today. A look at our start list. Of course, Alex Sergente, our defending gold medalist. Tom Shar silver, and Corey Juno, bronze medal. Keep your eyes out for Corey on this course. Yes, I mean, everyone here is just incredible, but Corey, Corey's got this smooth attack. You know, he gets his, uh, he's got a really nice front board slide. It's just, it's such a hard trick to slide. He slides forever, like, you know, effortless. So you're gonna see Corey, you know, get technical and, and challenge. The fans have invaded US Bank Stadium. They are ready for this final. 12 skaters out here today, each getting three runs. We count the single best score. And I think we're ready to kick this thing off, Bob. Yes, Keegan's ready. Keegan Palmer, 15 years young, making his X Games debut. Say hey, what's to, up to Yuto right yeah, there. Yuto Origami from our street contest. So Keegan Palmer got in via the Road to X Games qualifier in Boise, Idaho just a month ago. So he had to earn his way in, and that he did. Yes, and uh, he's a little powerhouse. He's got a lot of big tricks, very consistent, knows how to skate contests, and, uh, and has been skating with all the best guys around him. He's getting better every event. It's really great to see Keegan just growing into more and more power. Yeah, and he is bred for this type of skating, this type of contest format. So many first place finishes as an AM. Here's our Aussie 15-year-old kicking off the final. Nice uh, way to enter into the park and get his run going with an alley-oop. Solid gap over the mid box there. Alley-oop in here into the bank. Nice line, Keegan Backsmith over the man trap right into a 540. Back over lip slide man trap. And nice 50-50, get that in there. Front side air in to keep the speed. The Smith grind, kick flip any over the box. Oh, he had that every time in practice. Uh, Keegan. Keegan well, was on one prior to that, Bob. Final 10 seconds. That was a great run, great yeah. start. Yeah, so he'll look to clean Hit up that last Hit the big rail trip. here. Hey, this rail, you know, it's it's okay until you you know you come off of it. But he, he was nice and, and safe and pulled it in with his hands. He didn't hang up there. Front side airing in. Keegan, we'll see him again. Two more runs. So Keegan's first run is done. We move on down our start list. Hemana Reynolds made his X Games debut just last year. Palmer score you see coming in at 57. Hemana is so much fun to watch. If you like guys who fly out of the bowl, do we have a skater for you? 19-year-old Hemana Reynolds. Very talented and powerful skateboarder right here. I love his inverts, man. He's got a really good stalled invert. Um, Hemana's got style, he's got power. He's definitely a challenge here, and he's he's ready. Dropping in. Hemana top five finishes for him so far this year. Starts with a crossbone into the hip there. Nice line into the bank. 
And then that transfer, right in the tail grab nose grind, into the 50-50 on the big rail, connecting Hamana. There's what I was talking about. Look at that front side invert. Really well done. Just a little 50-50 in there for speed. Indy over the, into his nose grab, 540. Packing some good tricks in his run. Keeping the speed up too. Hungry. All right, little bank wall ride thing. Into an alley-oop. Oh, trying to get up there. He almost lived his speed. 50-50, getting technical. All right, that was a packed run by Hamana. That it, was amazing. It really was for the Honolulu native who always seems to have a shirt allergy. Let's take another look, though, at Hamana's <laughs> first run. Very. He's, uh, you know, he's so consistent and powerful, and he's been putting this run down here. He's been skating with him in practice, and it's just like constant. This frontside end ring is my favorite. <laughs> oh, that's a poster it. right there. Very nice Good job by Hamana there. Thank you for picking that for slow-mo. 68.66 for Heymana. Yeah, that's a good run. It's hard, you know, judges are gonna be like, you know, it seems low, but you know, there's a lot to happen here, so. Here's Chris Russell. Always Russell. sort of on that edge of disaster. Well, Russell is disaster. And he is just, look at this. Look at that front side air. Right into the, that is such a hard trick. And that nose grind with a shuffle in. I thought he did it on accident in practice earlier. That was no accident. He wants it that way, and that was awesome. Oh, there's that line. I haven't Whoa. seen anyone doing that. That was really good. Get creative. And that's what's cool about the park. You get everyone puts their own personality in there. Nice front side bonus. And two. Oh, oh, yeah. Man, that was close. <laughs> he tried to, well, he tried to kick flip. I don't know if it was a disaster. I was telling him, like, if you're doing that trick, like, if you land however you land, you're going to take it. The kick flip up on the bank there, and it looked like it was going to land nose grind, but this backs out of disaster. Nice. But what comes that? Right. There's the, ki the kick flip. It was going to go disaster, but then, okay, nose mm. pick. All right, I'll take that. Oh. Just stepping off. I'll crail grab, I mean, whatever. <laughs> but man, he was putting one together. Exciting to see what he'll have in store for run number two. A 60.33 for Chris Russell. Yeah, loose. That was, uh, that was a great way to put a run down. So here's Oscar Rosenberg making his X Games debut. Starting off the little rail there in the box, right into a backside nose blunt on that wall. Wow, that was incredible. Back 50-50, very technical choice of tricks here to keep the speed up. That's why, oh, the fakey 50-50 on the rail. Really nice, that round rail is really tough to do that. Alley oop into the bank, trying to keep his speed up. Going 50-50 to see if he can uh, get some pump into this lean air. Oh yeah, so he's going to nose oh. right on the big rail. Wow. That was a tough technical start. Really like that shaky 50-50 on the on the rail there. That that round rail is not easy to to do that. Oski out of Malmo, Sweden, our lone European skater right in the here. Field. Look at his fake 50-50. And that that could slip. I saw him slip in practice actually, and that was perfect. And he wants the nose grind here. See everyone just you know going for the 50-50. People are trying to change it up. Just didn't quite balance it on to be able to pop off. He's got a couple more runs. That was a great start there by Oscar. So Rosenberg's score coming in at a 57.33. We're just getting started here in Minneapolis. We'll be back after this message and a word from our ABC station. We are in the midst of run one here in this so far amazing park final. The crowds have invaded the stadium. So excited for that, and I uh, believe we've just been told a uh, breaking news out on the course. Let's head down to the third member of our team, Craig McMorris. Craig, what is happening? Well, Brando, uh, thanks for the call out. Not really breaking news, but I do have a story here for you. Uh, Jagger Eaton, everybody's a little bit disappointed in him. He was practicing with a Rod Stewart concert shirt from when? The year 2001. I can neither confirm or deny he was not or at the concert. Uh, he's only 17, he would have been one. I was really bummed when he took it off. We'll see if he can get it back in that shirt uh, for his first run coming up in just a moment's time, boys.
Wow, Craig. <laughs> uh, one, easily his worst tour to date, so I don't know why he would wear that T-shirt. And two, don't tell me you have breaking news. You're abusing the privilege of asking me to come on air. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Clay is ready. Bob's like, and let's get back down to business. Skate. Look at this back blood 80 over the Hey, Clay box. Kreiner, Bob, the busiest guy in Minneapolis. But this look is at the start of, of his line. You know, this is a, a complete set of skills that he's put together. Right in that bonus over the man trap there for that little front side line. Haven't seen many of those. Everyone's skating different, which is awesome. That alley you packing his run with some tricks here into Whoa. that huge 540 in the deep end there clay staying really solid and cool and calm into a kick flip any over the hip clay is ripping right now oh my Whoa. gosh on the top of the bank box and the lead to tail snapping that out of there right into that front side alley really clean smooth Great tricks, full style. Clay Craner just slayed it. That was awesome. What a run for Clay Craner. As we said, so busy. He skated in vert on opening night here at X Games, and he's got big air later tonight. Yes, so he's skating a lot, and it shows. But he's snapping this 540. You know, everywhere he does a 540 here at X Games is different, so. And that box top, top stall. On the bank box, Clay. Great run. We have run. a new leader, 80.33 for yeah. Clay Kreiner. That run is solid, and he can make it better. So here's Jagger Eaton, 17 years old. He's a busy kid as well, also skating in the street final tomorrow. Jagger Eaton not wearing the Rod Stewart t-shirt, as Craig said, opting for the traditional Thrasher top. And this kid just flat out skates. Wow, nice. Jagger's exciting. Look how technical that was with the 360 Indy over the box, right into the hip, into a... <laughs> yeah, Jagger connecting back lip over the man trap. That angle Everywhere is so a trick. good. Indy 5, alley you front side ollie, finding corners and doing tricks. Blunt front side kick lip in his run. Oh, my gosh. Jagger. And Bob, that was the question we had been asking all week. It's really tough to skate multiple events, but specifically when you're doing street and park, having to jump between those two courses. Those are totally complete different disciplines. That's really tough. And you can see the way he approaches his run is a lot more technical. He's got that street, he's got that all transition background, but you know, Jagger, Indy 5, you know, that's no street move. No. <laughs> That's a really nice Indy 540, and this is a mix technical front blunt kick flip perfectly caught. He's got that one down, and that is so good. He kind of brings it in at the end, and then this is end up bailing off that next slow mo there. But Jagger, well, we got a little taste of what we can right. what we can a see 61. here. 61.66 for Jagger. Lest we forget, he got his start with vert and, and skating big air back in 2012. He's the, you know, there's there's a progression in skateboarding. He's that went. all around skateboarder guy. You know, he skates it all, you know. All right, hey, Craig, while we've got you, Tristan Rennie dropping in. He was our top ranked qualifier out of Boise. How has he been skating this course? Uh, this wow. poor course is getting absolutely destroyed. Frankly, Brandon and Bob, I feel sorry for it. Nice, Tristan, ripping. Oh, backside alley lip. We got that front feeble in that corner there. That, Backs that air, 360 on the man trap, very nice. Oh, chose to stay on his Smith around the corner there, back. Body jar on the big wall into the little rail. Front blunt, getting a good run in here, going for speed. Oh, just trying to tell, so he's cruising around, just trying to figure it out here until he can get a nose trap 540 in the end, that's what he was doing. Back lip over the man trap, turning it on towards yes. the end there with a the kick flip bendy. Great end of the run. Cruised, bit tricks and everywhere he could. And Bob, it's just an extension of what we saw him do in Boise at Road Skate Park just a, a couple of months ago as he qualified first overall for this thing. Yeah, and this is a run that, you know, uh, he can make a lot better. And look at this nose, but that was great. He can keep doing that one. Um, that nose grab 540, perfect landing. But yeah, he, he put a run down, you know, and he's gonna he's gonna make that next one that yeah, much better. He takes over the top spot with that 86.66, and as Bob said, he can actually clean some things up, which is really scary. 
Well, there you see the king of the park. No one's won more gold medals this event than Pedro Barros. He pushes the limits in this event with his aggressive style. Let's learn more in his athlete profile. My influence from skateboarding, the people who I always looked up to always skated fast, always went high. So that's what why I think I skate like that. You gotta push it to the limits and I feel like that's what I try to do when I'm on the board in the contest. It's always a big pleasure, you know, to know that you're over here at one of the main skateboarding events. It's crazy. X Games has I had always a, a good luck charm, I guess. Pedro Barros, the Brazilian. I won six golds, three silver. It's been really good to always be on the podium on X Games. I don't know if it's watching this contest since I was a baby pretty much and getting so inspired when I'm out here and working pretty hard, but it just been happening, so I hope to keep it up, I really do. Well, the sun sets, the sun rises, and Pedro Barros wins park events. It's, it's, it's a near lock. He's a podium perfect in his nine X Games appearances, nine medals, well, he's dropping six in. of them gold. Yeah, Pedro, incredible. Look at the height of that India to start. Indy Dream over the box. You see the difference in, in power and pump here. Nice backside 50-50, keeping it in the line right into an Indy 3 over the hip, connecting really well as he usually does. All the way to the top of the Smith Whoa. stall. That was really good by Pedro. Just lean the tail, coming back in loose. Alley-oop over the hip. Right, snapping in that five textbook hat fly off. Oh man, getting that ball on the side, keeping it going, packing the tricks in here. Nice front side air, Pedro. Oh, back nose guy, I only got the speed for that, and he was on top. That was vintage that was Pedro Barros on his first <laughs> run here in the park final. You know, Bob, I asked you as we're about to watch replays of this insane attempt Look at from Smith Pedro. Stall right here. Alex Sergente won last year. Oh. Pedro wasn't here. Is there any part of Alex that feels like maybe there's a bit of an asterisk that he won this thing without Pedro in the event? Well, you look at this 540, the slow-mo. I mean, Pedro, you know, he's a contender always, but I, I wouldn't take it away by, from Alex. Alex had an incredible run. It's hard because you want all the best guys there, and I can totally relate to what he's talking about. But, you know, he would want to do it here. Well, Pedro's here, and that's for sure. But Pedro's trying not to let him do that. And that backside nose grind on that wall, that acrylic wall, it's hard to get speed. And I didn't think he had the line. I, I didn't know what he was going to do. I thought he was just going to do a little backside ollie. And he got on the nose grind, and he got on top. I mean, he was way up there. So that was awesome way to finish the line. And 82 for Pedro Barros. Good enough for second place. It's still Tristan Rennie leading the way. We're eight men in to our 12 skater final. Still to come, though, All right. last year's gold machine. medalist, Alex Sergente. Chooses the kick turn there. Let's, let's see why. Grind over the box, trying to cool collect, I guess. So Alex was so good last year, Bob. Yeah. Earning his first X Games gold medal. Of course, a different course than what we are seeing here out here today, but he's had no problem getting adjusted to this one. Welcome back to X Games Minneapolis 2018, day number three. We're in the middle of the Toyota Men's Skateboard Park Final. There's a good look at Trey Wood, who'll be next to drop in. Crazy to think, Bob, you remember the pack of young Groms, Trey, Jagger Eaton, and Tom Shar, the three of those guys, oh, yeah, all coming man. up together in that 2012 year. I remember all those guys skating the Mega. And yeah, they, there they are. Trey Wood and Jagger <laughs> were 11. Tom Shar was 12 years old, all doing big air that first year. And here's Trey's oh, first man. run. Oh, man. Trey ended up uh, going down early on his uh, on his run here. But Trey's got a lot of tricks in this in this. Uh, in this contest and in, in, in this park he's cruising around with a lot of power and style so i don't know whether he's ready to go or i think he's confused if it was time for him to go or not 
see what happened there. You know, it all seems to be clicking for Trey. We saw him, you know, in big air all those years, and now we're seeing him become a force on the park course. Yeah, he's confused. Yeah. That, uh, he, he, he dropped in early, but they're saying. Yeah, so there's some confusion here. Hopefully we'll get some clarity on if that run counted for Trey Wood. Well, he thought it was his run, but he wasn't cleared to go. So he, as humble as he is, he doesn't want to go because he, he bailed, but they weren't ready for him. So he doesn't, I don't know if he wants to take a run. Well, as they figure that out, we see Corey Juno, known for his speed and style. But before we watch him drop in, let's hear from Corey himself in the real cost athlete profile. What's up? I'm Corey Juno. I'm a professional skateboarder. I'm from San Diego, California. It was sick growing up in San Diego, skating with like a lot of older skaters, like taught me the ropes, showed me what to do. It was always about like more style and how you did something and just like going longer and faster and higher and whatever you can do to like just do it the best you can. It's nice skating like the park is kind of goes with the kind of skating that I like and I can just flow around and skate the hips and corners and everything's different so it's good to be well rounded and go out and skate whatever. Well, Corey had just a fantastic X Games debut last summer, earning a bronze medal. So here he is to not only try and defend that, but maybe get a different color in 2018. Well, Corey is amazing, and he's been progressing fast, very fluid, very makes everything look easy, and you will see what I mean, but it isn't. Starting off with an ollie, speed for that front side nose grind on top of the big wall there into that back lip in the corner really tough trick yeah that's a, a tough trick choice but he does those so good and you know he wants to keep it in there that's too bad we've got 12 skaters out here each of them getting three runs we count the single best score well he's gonna try and just flow around here just to keep his legs loose and ready for the next run but there it is look look at that back lip yeah <laughs> it happens a lean boneless Brian around, Corey, trying to figure out what he's going to do on the next run here. Just front side ollie over the end of the 50 50. Just keeping it, keeping it flowing for everyone. But look, look at this. Wow. Look, this is what I mean. Look at that front board. And that Bob, was awesome. He's so consistent. He's so creative. But I also have to wonder you get all that practice in, but then you sit around and wait yeah. for the contest to begin. And then you watch all the other guys go, get a little cold out there. Front board. A lot of blocks he just went through there on a front board. Not an easy trick to do that. And Corey, last contest, he ended up bailing on that same, you know, a back lip front board transfer uh, up in Canada. And then, you know, here he is, and he bails on the front, on the back lip again. So I don't know if that's in his head. Uh, he wants to put a run together. He's ready. I love that shot of Tom looking up to the Jumbotron, looking <laughs> up to Tom in the Jumbotron. So here's Tom Sharp, 18 years old, making his 10th X Games appearance. He's got seven X Games medals. And alley you back. Lip up the verbal, snapping that 540. Very well controlled into that backside tail slide, keeping the pump backside only. Tom, nice bonus there. Alley backside Ollie. Oh, trying to figure out where he's gonna go there, Tom. The front feeble around the corner. Front blunt on the big wall. Tough trick. Tom fitting all of it. Tail stall on the the bank box. Really connecting with some tough tricks here. Tom Shar showing no signs of injury here. Back lip. Yep, alley front stale fish. That was an incredible run by Tom, and he's leaving things. <laughs> you, you mentioned there the out, in, the injury. There was a minor stress fracture in his left knee that he happened really less than a month ago. Yeah, it's very recent. It's tough to deal with, and I know he's dealing with you know pain. It's part of it, uh, but he shows no signs when he's skating and doing this 
tail stall on this box here, just no problem. He's our defending silver medalist in both Park and Big Air, which he'll be competing in later this evening. Yeah, he has room and momentum to change those colors up. An 85.33 for Tom Shar. That puts him up into second place, a familiar spot for him here. Well, there you see Alex Sorgente, our defending gold medalist. He's ready for run one, but first, let's take a look at what fuels him. I'm Alex Sorgente, and I'm a professional skateboarder. An 88.33, a monster score for Sorgente as he takes over the top spot. I grew up in a little town in South Florida called Lake Worth. Really, it's like a pretty mellow place, like not much to do. So I guess that's why like when I started, found skateboarding, I was like, damn, it's something to do. So I just be like, want to skate as much as I can every day. Surfing didn't come along until later. Like I started surfing when I was like 12 or 14 or something like that. I love surfing, man. It's like compared to skating, like it's like a similar feeling. Like you stand up and you can just like make your own lines on the wave, like you're skating a, a bowl or something. Like it's rad. One day I just want to like move to Indonesia and just like open a restaurant, like a hotel restaurant type vibe, and just like kick it, surf and skate all the time. That's the dream. <laughs> So Alex Sorgente, hopefully before he goes to Indonesia, he'll skate a little more here at X Games. There's from the Graham yesterday. Park course is amazing. Alex has really liked this course, and it's shown up in practice all week long. Yeah, it's a style of skating of, of, of hitting, you know, trick after trick after trick. Everywhere he sees something, he's doing something. So he likes it. You know, you can tell because he's, he's putting them in there, getting himself psyched up. That's a great dream he has there at the surf and skate dream. I like that dream. I also share that dream. <laughs> so here's this, is, this start Sergeant is awesome, man. Right into that corner. Very creative. Into wow. nose grind on the on that rail. Nose pig stall there. Packing it up back Smith on the big wall. Nice. Staying on the wall. Chibo grind fakey. All right. With the half cap 50-50 on the big very technical trick for that big obstacle there, Alex. With an alley cube wall ride, that was incredibly hard. Alex with the very risky trick choices here. <laughs> Throwing into judo for good measure into the kickflip in. Oh man, that was loose. Alex thinking about it and landing them. Whoa, whoa. Really whoa. incredible. Packed Alex Sorgente height for Alex. is an understatement. <laughs> right. Grabbing the homies, picking right up, into the homie dance, picking man. up That's where it. he left off from last year, absolutely claiming that first run. He loves wow. this course, and it's clear. Starting off, well, didn't start. Start off with two techs with that rolling, and then right into this nose grind here on the round rail, and then kick flip. Benny. I think his back foot was a little loose coming in. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I was in the wrong spot. That's what it felt like, and then he just adjusted it there. Yeah, Alex putting down the first run. Are you stoked about that? An 89. Yeah. We have a new leader, Alex Sorgente, <laughs> as he tries to defend his goal, taking over the top spot early here in the park final. <laughs> That's right, man. And there you see Tom Congratulations Shard on putting that down. Love. I want to let you folks know at home, we've got a big show going on tonight and tomorrow. Jacko Strong and the boys in Moto X Best Trick going down tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Of course, Tom Shar battling it out with Elliot Sloan and Big Air tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern as well. And tomorrow, Nigel Houston leads that group of talented skaters hitting the street course. So much good stuff going on here at U.S. Bank Stadium. Olympian alert, the queen of the X Games pipe, Chloe Kim out here at U.S. Bank Stadium. We're just getting started. Don't go anywhere after this message and a word from our ABC station. Welcome back to day three here at X Games Minneapolis 2018. 
It's the Toyota Men's Skateboard Park Final, and we just wrapped up run number one under the roof here at our home of U.S. Bank Stadium. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside the most decorated athlete in X Games history, Bob Burnquist. Alex Sargente, our defending gold medalist, just put the entire field on notice with that run. Yeah, he started strong. He's ready. You know, that's first run. You know, that sets the, the field there, and those guys are going off. It's a, an incredible final. Every Everyone has something to improve, but Alex just, you know, just letting everyone know I'm yeah, here. Yeah, and he absolutely claimed it after that run. He left no doubt about it. It was amazing. I'm excited to see what he has for run number two. I can't wait. People, after seeing that, I think everyone's excited. And, and you really feed off of people's runs you know you got you That's got Alex point. just went down and you yeah. saw Tom smiling and hugging I mean you want that energy you know so that was a great segue into the second run and for Tristan everyone. Rennie our top ranked qualifier from our road to X Games qualifier in Boise Idaho sitting in second place Tom Shar in third Pedro Barros I thought came correct with a fantastic run judges uh, not quite showing him that type of love as he's sitting in fourth place just outside of podium position but we begin run number two with 15-year-old Keegan Palmer. Yeah, Keegan wants to have a full run. Got to bail in on the last run. He wants his line. And he's, he's got a different start here. Just rolling into the bank this time. Alley-oop in the air gap there. Very nice gap. The alley-oop lean there into the bank. Back Smith, man trap, connecting the tricks. Nice 540 for Keegan. Front lip over the man trap, right into the 50 50, keeping his speed up. There's the kickflip Benny. That was bailed in the first round. He's in. He's done it. Invert on the wall. Nice front feeble. Oh, with oh. the front side crooked grind around the corner. That was very. Good choice of trick to end with. That would have been a very good and again, end of the run. Just having a little trouble finishing his run, but the tricks were there, Bob. Yeah, that 540 on the wall there was solid. And here's the kickflip Benny that got away from him in the first run. You want to make sure he landed this one, and he did solid. Too bad it couldn't get that final trick there, but that was a that was a good run. Yeah, he's got one more chance. Let me see. Hey, is uh, Craig McMorris down there? Craig, can you hear us? I can hear you, boys. How are hey, you? Craig, uh, just rewinding for a second as Hamana Reynolds will be dropping in in a second. Alex Sorgente brought the house down with his first run. How loud did it get down there? Uh, the stands blew up. Literally thought a bomb went off in here. It was so crazy. Uh, but let's get back to the park. Hamana Reynolds on course. Hamana starting off with a kick flip right into a frontside invert on the big vert wall. So he's gassed up. He's ready. He's got a full run. Now he just wants to improve, and he is pumping for it. We look at that Madonna in the deep end, right? It's Smith grind. Mana keeping the tricks up in the air. Nose grab five on the hip. Just pumping up. Let's see where he's going here. All right, going for the box. Just a little right along. Front blunt. A little slob, nose bone into an alley oop on the hip, just kind of trying to uh, go trick after trick after trick until he heard that. But that was a little early on the bail. So Himana trying to replace that 68.66 on run number two. Well, he was going for it. He started off strong and he wanted that run to end without a bail. But that Madonna, look at that, extended. So clean. And snapped. Very clean, very well executed Madonna. Again, if you're just joining us, each of the skaters will get three attempts out here in this bowl. We count the single best score. So a 66 for Heymana. He'll hold on to his first run score and try Woo! to clean things up and make some noise on his third and final attempt. Here's Chris Russell, who always seems to skate on and fire. Look at that face, man. He's sitting he is in night. ready. Let's see, Chris. <laughs> Slob plant disaster on that big wall. Really tough trick to start. And then front side air disaster. Chris Russell, oh, that nose grind, tail grab, shuffle out is just awesome. Front feeble. 
And then here's this nice transfer all the way up, changing it up, adding it. Getting all the way to the top of that wall. No. Oh, exactly yeah. what I felt. <laughs> I think Chris oh, had the loudest such a good in run. the stadium. Because he does those backsider disasters in his sleep. Wow. And and you could see, Bob, then what happens there when that goes wrong. Well, that's it. I it mean, can it, disconnect it, everything. It's just, you know, that being able to land that first, you know, add on to the, the 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 transfer up on that wall was just like okay i had a good run going i just could i list and end it with something and then he ended up bailing on the this right here see once he got this you know he's thinking okay i'm not falling off my board after this you know i'm going to keep this going and end up bailing on back to disaster so Tough break, but that was great yeah, again lower than his first which he'll hold on to he wanted that one. We wanted that one yeah, for Chris we all Russell. Did. So we turn our attention to Oscar Rosenberg, Oski, as he's affectionately known, sitting in tenth place, trying to knock out that 57.33. Well, he's a little technician here, showing up, oh, going oh. for the backside air, 360 on that big wall. That's a tough, tough to get speed after that 50-50. But see, he's trying different things, getting creative. And okay, now he got a little bit more speed. Let's see if it happens. Oh, he's going for the grab. Oh, okay, I see that. Was going for the half cab board transfer there. Yeah, blind Os side. Oski says he doesn't really plan out his runs. He just tries to keep his speed up and improvise as he goes. Well, you can tell he's doing that, and it's and it, and it keeps it exciting. But sometimes it's tough to connect. Look at that. Oh, almost had it. Just yes. getting hung up on that rail. But man, if he can put that one together, that one's going to be such a fun, creative, unique line. Yeah, goes on the half cab. Just body was behind him a little bit and couldn't stay on. And then the next one he tried, his body was ahead of him and couldn't stay on. He's got to find that balance and that in between. He's got one more run to do it. Clay Kreiner dropping in for his second run. He was amazing. He had an incredible attempt. run. Now, I was surprised where he ended up, but he has got more. Right. And, and he's just, what I like about Clay is just powerful style, you know, lines, trick choices. You know, his personality comes across and he's just a really great skateboarder. Starts out with the Indy 360 on, keeping the speed. Heel foot over the corner. Definitely got room to make it better, and he's doing it right into that big old stall on the bank box there. Lean to tail, tight training to do that on. Alley you over the hip, connecting the tricks, staying on. Clay snapping a five. Clay is putting this run together and see where he's going here with the kick with Biggie. It's yes. in. Nice job, Clay. Backside disaster. Frontside Ollie over the hip. Yep, where is he going? Into a mute five, two five forties in his run. Still time for a lot one more of power Bob. going on here, and he is just oh half cap on the hip. Very nice run by Clay Kreiner. That was incredible. Clay Kreiner, in addition to skating in three events this weekend, that was awesome. Also had a video part drop on Thrasher this week. He is a week. busy man, but then it shows. This five forty was perfect. The heel flip over on the the corner was awesome. This kick flip maybe over the hip to keep the techness going. And then a mute five. So Clay puts it down. I don't know, I don't even know where they would they would put him, but you know, he's just such a strong skateboarder. Let's see what they say. Whoa. Yeah. An 80. Yeah. And and yeah. I, I in my eyes. I, I thought that was better than his first run. That was much better than his first run. And, Interesting. You know, it's just... Uh, no free lunches being given out by the judges out here today. Very interesting. So from one busy skater to another, Jagger Eaton also competing in our street final tomorrow. Jagger choosing to come around the box the wrong way and then coming back with the 360 in the air, then getting tagged, going fakey, fakey, Smith, coming back at the backside lip. And then Indy 5 on the hip. Alley, you frontside Ollie. 
to get technical here with the front, <laughs> the front blunt kick, but no problem. And then this is where he had a problem with the first run, and he got got the trick in. He is pumping to keep the speed up front, lip around the corner. Come on, Jagger. Backside Ollie 360 over the hip. Ooh, it looked like he was gonna try to go switch front blunt, came in forward instead. So he definitely cleans things up there on his second run again, trying to replace that 61.66. No doubt about that, he did it here. Yeah, that was a much better run and, and uh, Jagger showing the tech and showing the street background and right. uh, you know, getting finding those those lines. Didn't go deep in powerhouse as much, but look at that front blunt kick clip. That was incredible. A 74.33 putting Jagger into sixth place. Jagger Eaton was competing yeah. in the AM contest at X Games last summer. Now he's in both the Pro Park event and the Pro Street event. That's how good this kid is. Hey, a couple of legends out here. Saber Norris competing in Women's Park tomorrow. And of course, my partner, Bob Bernquist. Welcome to day three here at X Games Minneapolis. We're in the midst of the Toyota Men's Skateboard Park final, and there you see Tristan Rennie, who's sitting in second place with that 86.66. He's ready to go. I don't know what more Tristan can do. That was a great run. Well, he can definitely make it better. It seemed like a couple of times he was cruising uh, on some tricks, but he's not cruising there with that boneless on the corner into the Bank box, backside air disaster. Backside air three over the man trap. Very nice trick. Taking nose one on the bank. Into the front feeble around the corner. Back body jar. 50 50. Front blunt. Connecting tricks. Connecting the park together. Does that lead the tail slide? Into a nose grab 540. Backside nose grab on a man trap. And then a kick flip in over the hip. And Tristan Rennie again having no trouble with this course. Another clean run. That was a complete run by Tristan. This is a nice nose grab three. Shifting that body position around and just going for a 50 50 here. Trying to connect on his run, keeping the speed up. Hitting every corner he can. And there's a the nose grab 540 textbook. Good run by uh, a Tristan. Seems yeah. like I have a few places I see, and he knows that he can and add. He, and he ups his score, Bob, an 87.66 for Tristan. So consistent at just 20 years old in his second X Games appearance. And here we see now Pedro Barros sitting in fourth place, surprisingly, with that 82. He's never finished worse than a silver medal. Right now, he's just trying to get into podium position. Yeah, Pedro wants, uh, wants to make a better run. Look at that in there. So much power, so different styles. You know, everyone uh, skates so different. And Pedro has his own way. And look at that stale fish. That was huge. Pedro is not messing around. Oh, that back nose blunt got away from him. Man, that stale fish was insane. That was one of the highest airs we've seen on that wall right there. Pedro. Pedro really putting pressure on himself on his third and final Boy, he had a run. really good first run. I mean, I, I've been watching a contest here, and I'm, I'm seeing different things, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, that was an incredible first run. So, you know, he, he's trying to make it better and right. with that stale fish right there he's you <laughs> Tom, know look Tom at that char's reaction well, really yeah, says it all he knows background. and he sees and he just almost over rotates almost hangs up too ends up in the wow pedro barro is just ripping the park in a whole yeah, different way so pedro will so, have to hold on to his first run score yeah. there you see he with his fiance and of course he had a huge video part drop just uh, what one month ago, Silver yeah. Era. That Pedro's was been on the tear. Absolutely psychotic. So this is interesting. Well, we, there's third run still to go, and a couple of guys, a few guys here on the second run. But I, I am just impressed by by the level and the lines. So here's 
Trey Wood dropping in for his second now run, to... but this feels a little disingenuous because we didn't really see him take a first run. Yeah, now a little confusion on the first run, but now he's in and starts off with that grind. That's a really tough grind. And look at the speed. See the difference on speed here. Smith grind across the whole thing like it was nothing. I mean, speed is your friend, but Trey, oh, it's getting that 540 in. Just about missing a trick on the man trap there. Back tail over the hip. Trey Wood, front blunt. I love the way Trey skates and puts it together. Kick flip lean, wow, getting technical. Full style line, the kick flip tail. Oh my God, Trey Wood is doing it He's here. Holding with on. an alley-oop, blindside ollie to fakie. Trey Wood is putting an incredible run together. I don't know what he thought was going on there, but that could not have been at the worst time Bob. for that to happen. Bob, Trey he was, was making on it happen. One. And all he Trey needed to Wood. do was finish. And this finish. is the start of his run here. Awesome trick just to start off. Then stand up front side grind. Now he gets going. And he was full speed ahead, attack. Just holding on to his board as much as he could. That And it starts off, see, almost hang up there. So he had to squat it out. And that started the squat fest to save every trick. But, you know, Trey Wood kickflip. Stalefish corner squatting out, almost hanging up. Trey, oh my gosh, that was insane. A 78.66 for Trey. Yeah, it was. Oh. It's tough because of that bail towards the end right. there. But you know what he was doing was on his way to a very possible podium, and so, he knows it. Here is Corey Juno, our bronze medalist from last year. I'm careful not to say defending. Our researcher B.J. Smith just reminded me you can't defend a silver or a bronze right well Corey wants a run and he has his back lip across the corner that he bailed in the first run right into a back nose blunt revert on the bank Corey getting technical oh, and bailing no. the fakie nose grind yep well so Corey again, Corey having trouble yes because you know he's taking the risks and, and uh, to get that high score you take risk and then the level here is asking for a nice rock and roll slap and then a little, oh, a little front 180 switch feed, a little Uto. That's why I seen doing that trick in right. Street League, and Corey's bringing it to the park. So Corey is just gonna have to save it all up for his third and final run. Yeah, and this keeps it open. I mean, look at look at how clean and simple that back nose blunt revert on the bank was, and he was just coming into this faky nose grind right after this trick and, and ended up failing, but wow. 56.33, Corey. Corey Juno stays in 12th place. Well, Tom Corey's Shaw, one of those that can right. go from last to yeah, first. Yeah, that is so true. We, there you see one Tom, more run. There you see Best Tom run Shaw, counts. who's an amazing transition skater, obviously. So let's hear him in his own words in the Life Proof Living Proof. Hi, my name is Tom Shaw, and I'm a professional skateboarder. I grew up skating vert mostly. We had a vert ramp in my backyard, and that was pretty much about all I skated. And you know, I kind of got bored of doing that, so I just wanted to try skating like more parks and bowls. And every park, and, like every bowl, is different. I feel like there was more like opportunity to like be diverse or whatever, like with what you could do. Lately, I've just been filming with Chris Gregson. He's my like good friend. And, He's also rips and skating, so it's so fun. You know, you can roll in and follow you and do like the craziest lines, and it's, it always turns out really cool looking. We kind of like just brainstorm about a line and then just like try it out a few times, and then hopefully it ends up working out. <laughs> At X Games this year, I'm skating Big Air and Park. For Park, I'm just gonna pretty much just gonna be skating bowls like here and just trying to get ready for it. For Big Air, it's kind of hard to like practice the tricks like safely, I guess. I'll have the idea in my head, like, going into the contest and then maybe, like, try it a couple times before. I'd rather just kind of be there in the moment and just hopefully I uh, get lucky or something like that and just try and put it down. Well, Tom Shar has really grown up in front of our eyes, of course, making his X Games debut when he was just 12 years old. He's now at 18, a high school graduate. So really, for the first time, he'll tell you his main priority is finally skateboarding. Yes, and he's rolling right into life here at X Games, trying to get a second run. Alley-oop back lip on the big wall. 
Nose grab, 540. Solid skating from Tom, as usual, back tail on the hip. Ah, oh. Right into a kick flip, half flip, and that might have just, that seems like he's putting his hand on where it hurts. That was a slap, and that was no fun there, right when you're injured. Tom, well, Tom can to hold on to that, but that's too bad. That was a half flip on the kick flip, and right. you know, you, and sometimes you can throw it down, but not, not on small transitions like that. It's a different game. So starting off with a nose grab, 360. And Tom There's has hat to toss. be careful right now with the leg injury, the, the, yeah, the, the left Yeah, He's trying to, that was an early grab there. Half flip a little more and puts that slap down. This, you know, that hurt. You know, that that was a toe slap, and that's the toe is the one that's hurt, so. so Char, but I think the bail hurt more than the foot. Yeah, yeah, you might be I'll right. I'll tell you that. Char will hold on to his 85.33. Third place is where he will stay. And rounding out our group of 12 for run number two, our current leader, our defending champion, Alex Sorgente. What made his first run so special, Bob? Well, he skates it differently, and he's going trick after trick after trick. I don't know if someone's out there counting the tricks, but he's got a few more in, uh, and then he's gotten technical. He went full cab into that big rail. You know, so watch Alex. He likes being creative, so let's see. He's got to run in, so let's see what he what he does. And this is what I mean. Oh my gosh! Oh no! <laughs> well, he can take that risk, right. and that's okay. Because if he would have landed that, then there's the. But there's Alex, and we hadn't seen that, so we like to see new things. Absolutely. When you know you've got the field chasing you, well, hey, that's, you can think outside the box. Exactly, and, that, and, that, and that's that's perfect. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But look at Alex coming in, trying to get something different. There's, oh, going for the tail stall, 180 out. Alex, well, see, he's got tricks to make uh, an even better score happen, and, and that's what he's going for. And he's got one more run, so right. he, he already got a feeling. And he's not practicing. He wasn't practicing that trick. You know, no. he just wants to go for it. He, he's in an enviable position now, right, Bob. Just front side, 180 up. And I'm like, okay, he's going switch. He's going to switch rolling. And then he's adjusting for a fake yolly, fake yolly, fake, and he goes cab. Ah, uh, into that corner. I mean, almost. That was pretty close. It wasn't a wild attempt. It was a very controlled attempt. No one caught him during run two. So as we head to third and final runs, he's still in that top spot. Who will catch Alex Sorgente here in the Men's Park final? <laughs> Welcome back to U.S. Bank Stadium. It's X Games Minneapolis 2018. You are watching the Toyota Men's Skateboard Park Final. And thank you for watching on all of your ABC stations. It's run three time out here, Bob Bernquist and Alex Sorgente still leading the way. No one was able to catch him there on run number two. Yeah, we had some uh, close close calls there. Trey, Trey got close and he, he wants, he's got another run. He's got a really good line. Um, we got the whole field with better tricks to add to their lines uh, and people want to change things up Maybe Alex doesn't Alex wants to stay right there, <laughs> but he definitely wants a better run So now he he's adding some creative attacks here to show us some possibilities and uh, I like Where Alex is because he can you know now really go off if he didn't go off already Here's the youngest competitor in our field, 15-year-old Keegan Palmer. He's in ninth place. So he chooses to start with this indie gap into the bank there again. He's got a really good line, Keegan, tally you landing a little low, trying to keep the speed up, trying to hit every wall. You see him going across the transitions there, the alley oop lean air. The back Smith over the man trap into that backside 540, landing it low again, going, getting the front lip over. And then still manages to get up on the big rail. Keeping up the speed. Smith grind into the kip flip. Oh, and no. He was yet to pull a run together. This was <laughs> going there. That's too bad for Keegan. Such a such a ripper. has been progressing so much. Every event just getting better and better. We didn't see Keegan for a long time. There's no doubt about that. Take another look. But as you said, he skated this course so well during practice this week. Just couldn't put together a full pool. Yeah, too bad the kick flip in. I mean, uh, you know, it just happens. You got to be technical, and then you know it, it goes away from you. We've, we've seen it happen to a few guys here. The kick flip in, taken away. But uh, Keegan should be proud. 
he wants a full run, but he's been ripping and showing what he can what he can do, Keegan. Amana Reynolds trying to replace that 68.66. He's sitting in eighth. If he wants to knock that podium door, he would have to best Tom Shar's 85.33 here on his final run. Third runs are awesome. I mean, people are like, this is it. He's, he wants, this is his chance. In the kickflip into that boneless. Let's see his trick choices if he's making it more difficult. But he's still, at this point, we've seen this, and he's going to boneless on the bank. And then the Madonna, so he's trying to keep it going. Backsmith over the man trap in the air on the hip. Nose grab by 40. Adding trick to trick. Madonna, where is he going? I'll try to get up there, almost up to the top. Still just a little short front blunt. A little slop nose bone into the hip grind there and try to. Get some speed for the front side grind around the corner of the river. So any of strong, maybe better than his first run. Seemed like he was cruising around, a little bit more solid, landing everything really well. But let's see what the judges think. Well, he's stoked he put a run together. Nice kick for Bindi. The flying Hawaiian making things look so flowy, so effortless out here at the park course. Abadana is well done. Hamana has been progressing a lot as well. All these guys seems like every event. So nice nose grab five, keeping the speed up there. Great run. He does improve his score of 71.66, but not enough to climb the standings. So eighth place is where he will stay. And again, the judges are just really critiquing, I guess, judging. Um, but man, they are really tough on these guys out here today. Yeah, and Russell wants a run. There is a there slob is. disaster on the big wall. Tough trick and then front side air disaster. I don't know if he brings many extra boards, but he's slapping that disaster with power every time. Front and feeble to keep the speed up. Here's what he had in the first run. He wants it again. Yes, he gets it and he gets it even better with a much better flow so keep it going Chris he had bailed on that come on repeating the ollie over the box there but taking the foot off on the eggplant with a mix of trick choices muscling with the oh! line we had not seen bonus on the big wall to the bank wow oh my goodness Bob just, he that, just looks at things differently he really does and, and uh, he definitely felt that one um he was putting together that Slop run we were waiting disaster for. on the big wall. Yeah, he 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 went further and he got the the little grind transfer. Look at this. Ah, oh, he, he put his foot a little too soon. He needed to be a little bit closer to the edge there. But, That's oh, just man. not possible. And the fact that he was just looking at it, you don't see him try. It's the kind of thing that you only do when you you know you want to just surprise people. And <laughs> we were surprised. Or if you're playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It's right when you're on demand. So we move our attention to Oski Rosenberg. He's sitting in 11th place, yet to put together a clean run. Whoa, and takes the foot on. on and still gets the backside disaster in there. That was incredible. They can add that trick into the, in the backside here, 360. Into a half cap nose manual. Wow, into the back. That is insane. If he's thinking these things up and just landing them. That's I mean, what I'm saying. There's no planning to his routine. Wow. That was exciting. I, I really like the fact that he took his foot off and that, still that's, got a trick in instead of just doing a kick turn. This is jazz in the realest way. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. He's going to go for the half cab here. Uh, that was an exciting beginning of the run. All right. Gets it going here. This 50-50. Little round rail 50 50. Let's not forget, Bob, at 21 and years old. Up, he come off. I mean, that was the slow mo. He was a, a nominee on the short list for, for Sodi for Thrasher Skater of the Year last year. Well, with skating like this, I can see why. Backside air 360 that he had bailed on the other run. So, wow. A 30. So he'll hold on to that 57.33. An exciting 30. <laughs> a very exciting. <laughs> 
the most exciting 30 I've ever seen. So Clay Kreiner, uh, I'm really confused by this, Bob. He's in fifth place in 80.33. With two incredible runs, and he can improve. I mean, maybe they're making him do that, I, 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 but I don't know. Look at this, starting out with the backside 180 into a cap, like, Indy cab on the wall, lean there, keeping the speed up, back Smith over the man trap. Front side bonus, well done. Tail slide over the man trap. In this front side. Transfer here. Alley U. Play connecting the dots. And yes, he was going oh. for the kick flip body barrel five. I mean, yes. I mean, what else could he do? Well, that's what he could do. I mean, but he that's had an the incredible challenge, run. though, Bob. Because I, as far as I'm concerned, he previously had a podium run. That he was, had to go for broke. Well, yes. I mean, if you realize that you're not in podium with the run that you had, what are you going to do? You know, it forced him to try that. I mean, he's going to do it. I mean, look at that. So he could have just like he could have landed that as well. But starts off with the backside 180 landing, fakey on the box to set up for his gay twist indie on the flat wall there, the vert wall, and then boom, extended frontside bonus with double clay, jumbotron, and real time here. Slow-mo of the bonus on the bank. Clay Kreiner, just incredible skateboarding by Clay. I love the first two runs, and here's the kickflip, just about misses it. That's the first. And just run out of it, because you got no pads. So Clay Kreiner unable to finish, but again, I, I feel like he was a There's little pops. bit underscored <laughs> as he's there with his dad, SC, rep in South Carolina. And there we see Jagger Eden. He hit the gram earlier, stoked to make it to finals on Sunday. A shot wear backing them up. Jagger Eden busy in this final today and in the street final tomorrow. Right Dropping now, in on the vert wall. he's just trying to get onto the, the podium. Other way. Get the holly in. Back center on that tight. Into that 360. Right into the hip to fakey. Very technical combinations by Jagger to start off his run. Front side holly styling it out. Back lift over the man trap. Indy five on the hip. This is when he starts dancing. And here we go. With boom. With yes. one kick flip. Front line oh. and the kick flip no grab. Jagger, Jagger. putting those tech skills to work in the park. Exciting, different, skating street and park. Two different skill sets. Not many people do that. No, no, they don't. Jagger Eaton again on his third and final run. And uh, beanies fly off as well, not just hats, just so you guys know. <laughs> yeah, hopefully Craig's down there with a, a, a hat and <laughs> beanie collector, and he can roll down and grab those. Of course, he's still got another contest in front of him, the street contest. He did earn a silver medal at X Games Norway in the street event, so he's primed for that one. And blunt kickflip. It looks like he's going to look at it. He's looking at it backwards. He goes for that kickflip to Fakie and then turns his body around. <laughs> nice technique. I'll take you on that. That was the most anticlimactic sick I've ever seen. Alex <laughs> Sorgente, our current leader. Will he defend his gold? Find out after this. Chilling. There are three skaters in the Toyota Men's Skateboard Park who began their X Games careers as preteen groms and all of them debuting back at X Games LA in 2012. Jagger Eaton, Trey Wood, they were 11 years old. Tom Shar was 12. There you see Trey then and now. And Bob, it was neat to see all these kids on, on Big Air. You were skating with them. Yes, and they were incredible. I couldn't believe the progression and how quick they got good. And and uh, you know, Jagger with the switch backside 180, Ollie over the mega gap. I mean, you know, Trey and all those guys. Tom still doing it. Yeah, hey, Craig. While we got you down there, it's yes. just crazy to me what a hotbed this has become for youth skaters and how they all seem to gravitate toward park. Well, what's so cool about it is how how unique their style has developed as they've gotten older. I mean, you saw those old clips. When they're little groms, I mean, the style is really similar. They're doing a lot of similar tricks. When they get in the park, they have the uniqueness. They can step outside. They can choose their own lines. So I think it's it's really cool to watch those three grow up. Yeah, absolutely. From, from kicking things off in, in big air six years ago to now becoming forces of nature on the park course. And on big air and on whatever that's they choose true. to get on. Tom Shar will be competing out in big air later tonight. 
along with Trey Wood. So here's our standing so far at the Toyota Men's Skateboard Park Final. We're wrapping things up on third and final run. Alex Sorgente set the pace on his first attempt, and he hasn't looked back since then, Bob. No, you know, he, he put a great run together and was rewarded. So he likes where he is. So here's Tristan Rennie. He's in second place right now. He'll need to best that 89 to take over the top spot. Yeah, he wants it. Going for the same run, trying to maybe change up a couple of tricks. Indy Disaster, that's a different trick. Into this backside nose grab, three over the man trap, nose blend on the bank. Oh, and there is the nose grind. That's what I'm talking about. Tristan <laughs> into that body guard slide up on the wall. 50-50, incredible nose grind. Front blunt, getting across again. Ah, he's a Madonna on the, he's, he's making it better every wall. So he's definitely going for it. Uh, oh. he ends up at the buzzer. So I don't know how they. If they're going to score that? Well, I don't know anything at this point <laughs> now. But I, I, it's oh. like. Uh, but none of us are safe, run. Bob. So he stomps out a third and final Look run. Look at this nose grind. Favorite trick to see here across and on top. So taking that final bail out of the equation, was that enough to beat Frog? Alex and take over the top spot. I don't know. I mean, his his first run, see, you see how better he got in a lot of these tricks. And I mean, they scored it pretty high. So I don't know. An 83.33. So no, it won't best his first run score and silver medal position is where he'll stay. A better run than his first run. So I don't understand that part. Come, come again, Billy. So here's Pedro Barros. He is currently on the outside looking in. Every X Games appearance he's had, he has meddled. All right, this is Pedro. history at stake. And Pedro knows pressure. And Pedro doesn't hold back. Starting off strong, powerful. Frontside grind in the corner. 50-50 on the big rail. Right into a backside ollie on the hip. Trying to stay cool and collected as he's setting up. Oh, for the nose blunt. That's still there, but that slows oh, things down. No. Pedro, he tried. I mean, see, that's he was forced into doing, you know, obviously, to better his run. His run was incredible. You know, that was a that was an insane run. And then what what else are you going to do? Okay, let me nose blunt on the what top. What a tough box. break and, for Pedro It Barros. just about came up short. I mean, it seemed like he was on, but that was too much. He could have pulled it in, obviously. But, I mean, it's like, okay, yeah, what am I going to do here? <laughs> he's and looking at it too, but he's like, ah, it's way too much of a stall. No, Bob, so Pedro Cuts unable to make it a perfect 10 for 10. As we said, nine X Games appearances, nine medals. He's never finished lower than a silver medal in park before. That changes today. Well, he did his job. He came and he made it, you know, he made it happen. He got a great run in there. Now it's just, you know. It is what it is. So there we see Trey Wood. He's sitting in sixth place, trying to best that 78.66. And here comes Trey. I really like Trey's run. Had a little confusion on the first run, showed us what he could do on a second run, but now he wants to clean it all up. No squatting. Getting in there, keeping the speed up, and then Smith grind across the whole thing like it's nothing. Keeping that, and this is where he had squatted. Nice up, still came up a little tight, but that was good. Keep it going, don't slow down. Right into the tail slide. Front blood on the wall, so he was able to get his speed back up. And the kick lift lean, he just, oh, a little bit of a wobble, and just couldn't do it. Oh, that's tough break for Trey, such a good line. Oh, man, now he's like, oh, what do I do? This yeah, one just, for uh, the okay, fans I'll at US right Bank here. Stadium. Keep it going. And kick flip, stale. Well done right there. Trey, an incredible line, right. great runs, an opportunity to like podium. Again, just a weird day for Trey Wood. That first run, did it count, did not count, didn't able, wasn't able to put it together. You saw it on run number two and he had put something really special together here. Yeah, he designed his line really well and powerful and trick choices are technical. And I really like what Trey had going on but it's skateboarding you know sometimes you can't put it together and you, it looks like you can win or podium and then all of a sudden you're bailing and you're nowhere close but that was an incredible line connection by Trey
Alex Sargente, he's been leading since run number one. Corey Juno has not had a great day, has not been able to stay on his board. He's sitting in 12th place, but we know he has the goods to jump up into the podium. Oh, well, he does, and he wants it. This is where he's having trouble with back lip on the ball. That's a very risky trick. And into the, there's another risky trick, the backside nose blunt reaver. And this is what he had bailed, the fakie nose grinder man trap, getting tech. Frontside Ollie Corey has gotten a lot longer than the previous runs. 50-50, hitting walls, getting tricks, front board, beautiful style points for days right there. A little rock and roll slap, old school style, into the U2. Oh, no. I'm gonna call it the U2. But the 180 switch feeble. And oh, Corey, Corey tough Juno break. Juno unable to finish. Cruising and styling and everywhere he hits, just just couldn't put it together, it's too bad, but another, and look at that. Just balanced, flowing through those blocks. Very well done, Corey. I mean, if that's all you, if you bailed and you couldn't get, get a medal, I'm glad I got to see that. And I think we're all stoked that we got to see those tricks. So we turn our attention now to Tom Shar. He's sitting in bronze medal position. And he is the last guy that can knock out Alex Sorgente from the top spot. It all comes down to this. Did Shar save his best for last and try to take over gold medal position? He's got a good run. He's in, he's got a medal, um, but he wants more. Why would you stay satisfied with that when you can go out and try and get the gold? Look at backside alley oop. That's a really great trick on the, and on the nose grab 540 to backside tail slide. Keep the tricks coming. Oh, little, gotta keep that speed up. Lost it a little bit. I don't know if you changed the trick there, the alley oop. Backside ollie and then front feeble on the bold corner. Front blunt on the big wall. Oh, he got speed after that, but that's okay. Final yes, 10 Tom seconds. Does, and tail stall. Tom has got an incredible run together. A couple more tricks. Oh, oh no. the, Yep, well, he had to finish strong. You, you know, if not, it would have been oh. somewhere in the same place. Tom Shar unable to finish on his third run, which means Alex Sorgente goes back to back. Back to back, Golden Park is no easy feat with the stacked field. Alex does it. Oh man. Oh well, you can't blame Tom Shar because he put it all out there. He knew what he needed to do, and we've also got to keep an eye on Tom because he'll be skating later on tonight in Big Air. Yeah, and Tom, that's, you know, he was going for the shove it back, back lift there. Tight transition, maybe a bigger transition in the park might have been better, but he chose that spot. And that's what he had with the time he had left. And so Char together. has to settle for the bronze. Tristan Rennie, by the way, earning his very first X Games gold, or excuse me, medal, a silver. And then Alex Sorgente. You know, Alex wanted to win with Pedro Barros in the mix. Well, he did, and he's got one run, and we get to see a loose gold medalist just get creative. Yes, and the ultimate victory lap from Alex Sergente. Oh my God, that's too bad. He got even closer. Now you got to go back up there and do it. If there are, and he, of course he wants to. Let's see if Alex can pull it together. I mean, that's a. He's got a half cap into the corner. See how it's cornered out? He's got a half cap all the way around. <laughs> it's a little bit more of a, a little bit more than a half cap. So Sorgente will say, I've had enough. Wow. Are you not entertained? U.S. Bank Stadium, a second consecutive gold medal. And again, Bob, he just, he came correct on that first run and no one was able to catch him. Yeah, I mean, you know, at first, just an emotional and mind game set there. That was the best that he could do for himself and then mess with everyone else. So, <laughs> keeps going, no problem. Alex, buddy, the clock has run out. You don't have to break yourself off. You got the gold medal. Well, you still gotta be able to sleep. He has the gold, but he doesn't have the half cap. I don't know, maybe he, he have okay sleep. You know, <laughs> if he lands it, he'll have better sleep. 
So Alex Sorgente wins his second consecutive gold medal. Tristan Rennie with his first ever X Games medal as silver. And Tom Shar adds to his collection. That's his eighth X Games medal, earning the bronze out here today. So much power. That was an incredible contest. All smiles. The homie dance did it. That's his little brother and Craig, take it away. Alex, Alex, how satisfying does it feel to go back to back? How satisfying is that? Dude, I'm so stoked, man. Oh man, wow, I'm, I'm speechless right now. But uh, yeah, just to come back to Minneapolis and I mean, get the gold again, is, I feel great, dude. This is awesome. You posted that 89 in run one. That's what won you the contest. Did you think it would stand throughout the entirety of the field? Dude, honestly, no, man. Everyone's out here is really killing it. And like all the homies can win it at any time. So, I mean, I'm stoked we can be out here just skating with all my friends, just having a great time. And it's, it's so sick, man. I'm so stoked. Thank you, Alex. That was a treat to watch. Back to you guys. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Minneapolis. Uh, congratulations. Yes, yeah, Minneapolis you, man. has been very Woo! good. And thank you, Alex. Alex, Alex Sorgente. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look now at the Fruit of the Loom Everlight Spotlight. I think I know who this will be. Alex Sorgente with that first run. And he left no doubt about it, Bob. Crossbony. Chilling. Cruising and power housing, taking the foot off to hitting the tail. And the homie dance, please show that in slow-mo extended, please. <laughs> That's right. 